every so often I run into something that is really unique and this happens to be one of those things it's called a piano lodian it's a child's toy and in a later video I'm going to show you how it uh, what it sounds like and there's my dog trying to get into the action here give you an idea how small it is he's just an English Cocker Spaniel his small dog um, now he wants to play with this toy it uh, has US and foreign patents pending I don't know whether they ever got a patent for it and it's made by J Jean and company okay thank you okay it consists of uh, of only two moving parts um, and I really don't know what to call these these parts um, I would say that this is the valve if I were to give it give this and give it a name because of the way that it functions I would call this the valve and I would call this the pouch as it relates to uh, regular player pianos um, I want to see if I can get a, get a picture so you can see this kind of hard to see this but this piece right here is actually beveled see if I can see it a little bit better on a kind of hard to there you can, you can you can see there that this this piece is beveled a little bit on the edges right here and here it's beveled it's not it's not perfectly flat it uh, it's beveled how else can you put it there you can see it a little bit better right there these are the only two moving parts in the uh, in this in this mechanism right here that actually cause the uh, cause the notes to play and I'm going to attempt to explain how it works this piece sits right here and it moves and this piece right that that piece down there sits right here and it moves and if you can see down inside I'm going to try to show you down inside I'm going to put this back in here it just snaps in see if I can snap it in with one hand I didn't try to do this there it goes that snaps in and if you look down inside here you can see that this moves and this is inside of a channel if you look over here if you look over here you can see these you can see these channels and this piece fits not snugly but uh, it fits you know there's not a whole lot of room on, there's not a there's not a whole lot of room on either side there and it's fairly well balanced but as you can see it's weighted towards the bottom side and you notice that hole that was in it there's a little hole in it and I'll explain the purpose of that if I get this back out here uh, the purpose of that little hole that you saw in there that's actually a bleed and I can explain that I'll explain that later um, maybe in a subsequent uh, video explain how that works but um, that's the bleed and this is the uh, this is what I would call the 
the valve, I mean the, uh, the pouch. The reason that I would name those pieces that way, see if I can get this back in here now. Okay. Make sure I got this right. Yeah. There we go. And this just, sorry about that. This just snaps in. Okay. What happens, <clears throat> what happens with this is that <clears throat> this is connected to a tracker bar and a music roll goes over it and it opens and closes this hole. When that happens, there's vacuum supplied down inside the bottom of this chamber down in here. There's a vacuum supply and that's why I've got that vacuum pump hooked up to there. There's vacuum on the bottom down in this chamber, down in here. There's vacuum down in here. And below <clears throat> these arms that are inside. And what happens is that the, a small, a, a, some of the vacuum goes by that hole, in that hole, so that there's vacuum on an equal amount of vacuum on either side of this piece. And that keeps this closed. In other words, because there's vacuum sucking down on it all the time. A small amount of vacuum sucking small amount of vacuum sucking down on this piece all the time when the vacuum is applied. And when you open up this hole right here, that lets the atmosphere go down in into this orifice because there's vacuum on the underside of it and atmosphere on the top of it. So the atmosphere rushes down inside and when it rushes down inside it actually causes this I don't know, I'm just going to try to keep this focus right down here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I try this again. You can see that the slightest amount of air going down into that hole causes this to open. And when that does, when that does open, that, al that allows a lot of atmosphere, because out here is atmosphere, that allows a lot of atmosphere to come rushing in through this opening right here. And because of the fact that we've got vacuum on the bottom side of that paddle that's inside of here, there's that paddle that's inside of here, You've got vacuum on one side, you've got atmosphere on the other, and the atmosphere actually pushes the the atmosphere actually pushes on that paddle and causes this to come up. And now I'm going to demonstrate that. Don't mind the noise. you can see this is open, the atmosphere is coming in there, this is raised up, and there's a fair amount of pressure on here. Not a lot of pressure, but a fair amount of pressure on here. And when you put your finger over the hole, the note shuts off. what the applied vacuum is. I don't have my vacuum gauge handy. This feels like it's operating on about feels like it's operating on about uh, maybe three inches of vacuum. Maybe three or four inches of vacuum. Very, very small amount of vacuum. And that's how it works.